Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable donut pillow. For supplies, I use a beige and pink minky fabric from Hobby Lobby. I also use fleece from Hobby Lobby in a rainbow order. I was going to use red, but felt it was too harsh of a color for what I was going for. As for why the sprinkles are done with fleece instead of minky is because this is all I could find on short notice. I also use polyfill stuffing and matching thread for each of the fabrics. For the pattern, I taped together four pieces of eight and a half by 11 inch paper to create my donut shape. I use a Lazy Susan to trace a 12 inch circle. Now looking back, I kind of wish I made it bigger, but this was the largest circle thing I could find in my craft room. Now I am cutting the pattern with scissors. For the inner circle, I use a roll of masking tape as my guide. I pinned my pattern to two layers of beige minky to get two circles. I did the same thing, but with one layer of pink minky for the frosting. I start making swiggles around the whole circle to simulate donut frosting. Here's a reference picture for what I was trying to do. I tried to cut the frosting, but these dull scissors were not having it. Make sure you use sharp scissors or a sharp rotary cutter when cutting fabrics like Minky. After a bit of fluff cleanup, I lay the frosting on top of the dough layer. I pinned the frosting to the dough layer. At this point, I didn't realize I would need to decrease the size of the frosting as it goes into my seam allowance. Off screen, I trimmed down the frosting which looks pretty bad, but uh... Anyways, I repinned the frosting back onto the dough. Now you will see I am using a satin stitch on my sewing machine to sew the frosting down. However, you can hand sew this part if you would prefer. I will be doing the least amount of hand sewing in this project as I cannot stand hand sewing. I also added a link in the description box for a good tutorial on how to satin stitch with your sewing machine. Here is the frosting sewn on top. Next we're going to make the sprinkles. Excuse my head being in view. I draw a small pill shape on a piece of paper which is about half an inch to about an inch. I cut it out and use it to trace onto the fleece fabric using an air soluble marker that I had gotten at Joann's. I then cut out each sprinkle making about two to three of each color. Mark where the center of the donut is going to be using the same marker. I know I drew the inner circle on the pattern, but I just didn't end up doing anything with that. However, it would still work if you're going to do that. Again, excuse my hair shot. 
I used the roll of tape that I used to mark on the other side as a guiding point so I can place my sprinkles and not have them in the center area of my donut. Now I'm just randomly placing my sprinkles. When I finish placing them, I pin them in place so they don't move around when I try to sew them later. I now zigzag stitch them in place. I realized that if I wanted to use a satin stitch, I would need to use stabilizer, which is common for machine embroidery, which I did have, but I just didn't end up using. You can also hand sew the sprinkles in place. Like I said, I really hate hand sewing. Now I line up both of the donut pieces and pin them together. This is where things start getting kind of complicated and I'm really bad at explaining things. I have linked a tutorial down below for another plushie artist who is BZR, who talks about this in her flamingo floaty pattern. I would highly recommend watching her do this instead of watching me. I set up my sewing machine to be able to sew exactly in the center of the line that I drew. I then cut in the middle of the circle I just sewed. Instead of trying to cut all the layers in one go, I just cut them one layer at a time. Also cut small lines in the center, which I believe helps relieve some of the tension. I now turn it inside out via the center. I don't even know what to call this. It's like rolling a tortilla and then grabbing the end. The tutorial I linked below should be able to explain how to do this better. Now I sew around the whole donut. I left about a three inch gap so I could turn the donut inside out. We got a donut. Stuffing time! This part is like a Build-A-Bear session. You get to decide how squishy you want your pillow. There are tools that could probably make this easier to stuff, but I am not a professional. Now I'm ready to sew the hole shut. This is where I use the needle and thread, and spoiler, I hate hand sewing. To close the pillow, I do end up using a ladder stitch. I have also linked a video in the description on how to do a ladder stitch. Once I knot the thread, I shove the needle through a random part of the donut to hide any of the threads. Now I clean up any loose threads, and voila, here is the finished donut pillow. It's a bit smaller than what I'd like, but there's always next time to make a bigger one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!